Hi, this is Barry Nellums with La Mesa, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Omni Super C by Thor Motor Coach. I'm gonna hit a few bullet points from a full-size bedroom in this coach to a full residential, full-size living room, residential type appliances, solid surface Corian countertops, just to name a few. Come on inside, we're gonna take a look. All right, I'm sitting in the living area of this Omni Super C SV34 model. As you can see, I'm sitting in these awesome, comfortable theater chairs. Now they do offer a sofa bed option as well. So if you have more sleeping that you need for those little ones or guests that you may bring with you, you have that as well. Now, what I'd really like is that they're really thinking about safety on a lot of these demographics on these new coaches. Got seat belts here. So if anybody's traveling and you wanna make sure they're a little bit extra safe, you can. You've got cup holders here for your drinks. Nice, beautiful ultra leather that they've matched with the rest of the interior of the unit. Beautiful LED lighting. A couple of things I like to point out is this accent lighting that's over here up above the cab over bunk. I love the privacy curtain that you have. So you can draw this back. So if the kids or your guests are gonna sleep up here, they kind of got their own little private area, which makes it really, really nice. I love that. The other thing I like too, sometimes areas feel claustrophobic with not enough windows. I love this power shade. This power shade just lets in a lot of natural light. Also gives you a full panoramic view while you're up here in the coach as well. Uh, that glass up there is also tinted, so it keeps a lot of the heat out of the unit. You got a nice big storage area, but also have a massive area for sleeping for at least one to two people. You do have another window up here. Other thing that I love is a swivel TV that you can swivel out as well. So if you want to sit here at the theater seats, or even if you get the model with the sofa bed, you can watch TV while you are in the coach. You can also do it from the dinette area as well. So if you're gonna sit here and have dinner, you can also do that right here, which makes it really, really nice. Also, you do have a 110 power outlet up here and a couple of USB 12 volt power outlets as well. So if you've got your iPad or you've got your, um, any of your toys that you're gonna bring with you, that are 12 volt, you can plug those in right here or a 110 plug. So look at this, you've got seat belts not only on this side, but you've got seat belts on the other side for extra safety. Plus if you have that small little one that's in a car seat, you do have a tether right here that you can anchor the car seat down for even more extra comfort and more extra safety, which I really like. A Couple of cup holders here and the dinette as well. This dinette also, turns into a full sleeping area as well. So this table basically drops down, these cushions collapse, and you basically have another sleeping aspect, or you have a full dinette for four people that is very, very comfortable, all right? Storage is key, I always like to talk about storage. You do have more storage under the dinette on both sides, which is very nice. I always like to point out how deep it is. So my arm's pretty deep. And the other thing I really like is if you've got a computer or a laptop or an iPad that you're gonna take with you on the road, you do have a 110 plug underneath the dinette as well to be able to uh, power up those devices while you're on the road. So now I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the general interior features, all right? First of all, I'm gonna show you your slow rise solar shades. Not only do you get the daytime shades, but you also get the nighttime shades for privacy. I love the fact that you can just let them go. They go up very easy with one touch. Windows, nice big, big windows. Insulated windows. These are also called frameless windows. So when you open these up, these have a insulation parameter around the glass to keep heat and cold out, depending on the temperature and where you're gonna be at. Okay, cabinetry. Let's talk about cabinetry. 
hardwood fascia, solid doors on the cabinetry throughout the entire coach. <clears throat> nice, big, deep, deep cabinets all the way around the unit. Very, very nice. The other thing that I love is that the fascia of the slide out and throughout the unit has a hardwood solid fascia as well. Ceiling, seven foot ceilings. I'm about six foot tall, okay? They use the nice soft touch materials on this too instead of the hard plastics that a lot of the other units use. So this gives you a really nice upgraded luxury or type feel, okay? Air conditioning system in this coach also has one AC in the bedroom, one AC in the living room that gives you a true duction of the AC to keep the coach much cooler and warmer type climates when you're traveling down the road, all right? The other thing that you also get is this residential type linoleum flooring. There is no carpet through the unit. And then safety wise, you also get um, a fire extinguisher in the coach, a smoke detector, a carbon monoxide detector, and a LP detector in the coach. So for all those aspects, when you're traveling down the road, heaven forbid you need any of those things, but you have those on board to keep you and your family safe. So take a look at this. One big thing I like to talk about, residential stainless steel sink, okay? Solid surface countertops, just like you would find in your home. Granite, quartz, similar type material, all right? The other thing I like to talk about is a residential type faucet, okay? With a pull down sprayer. So you could be washing dishes on this side, prepping food on this side, give you a little bit more counter space on this side, or if you wanna leave one section open, or if you're not prepping food or using the sink, you could do that as well, okay? Another nice big window in the kitchen area to let in some natural light, okay? I like to talk about these pullouts in the kitchen area. I love the soft touch. You got steel ball bearing glides on the drawers. Very easy to touch, very easy to use. Waste basket they provided, which is nice. Nice big deep drawers. I love the soft, easy touch clothes on the drawers, which is nice. Okay, lots of counter space, lots of storage up here as well, above the kitchen sink. If you love to cook, you've got some 110 power outlets right here as well. So you can plug in your blender, your toaster, whatever it is that you might need. Residential type backsplash right here that's grouted in the unit as well. Very residential, very, very home-like. That's what I really like. Some really nice touches. One thing I really love is the fact they give you an induction cooktop, plus they also give you a two burner gas cooktop as well. So if you're out traveling and you want to use your propane, love people, a lot of people love to cook with gas. You can. If you're running low on propane, you can run your induction cooktop right off of your inverter, all right? So it gives you two ways to be able to cook in this coach. Full-size residential convection microwave. So this is not only an oven with a microwave built-in type feature, but it does both for you. Also, full-size residential refrigerator as well. And I mean, it's, it's a very, very, very good size. Very good size. Put a lot of food in this when you're traveling down the road. Lock right here to keep the door shut as well when you're traveling. And the other thing that I truly love is what they've done with LED lighting. I mean, you can turn lights on and off in the kitchen, overhead, but they've also done a phenomenal job with all the accent lighting in here in the coach. So when they went from halogen lighting to LED, it's really just made the coach just Absolutely beautiful. Now we're in the bedroom. Let's talk about some of the great features that I love in here. You got nice big nightstands on both sides of the bedroom, okay? You got a 110 power outlet right here, which is great for a CPAP machine or whatever else that you wanna use inside the unit. 
you do have a power tilt bed feature, okay? So if I wanted to sit here in bed and watch TV like this, I could do that. Or if I'm ready to go to bed, I can retract this all the way down as well. You have USB ports on both sides of the bed. You also have speakers up above the cabinetry right here that I'll go over. There's an onboard entertainment center in this. I'll show you that in just a second. Nice frameless windows here by the bed as well. So you can let some cross ventilation inside the unit. Okay. Look at this. You got all the storage up here as well. Nice big deep, deep cabinets. So when you go all the way across, you can see how deep these go across. You also have a nice little extra wardrobe closet right here. Nice big, big window in the back. So take a look at all this storage, right? Nice big deep drawer all the way across, top and bottom. There's also storage underneath the bed. Plus easy access to find your breaker panel for all your fuses and breakers for the coach, okay? Another big deep drawer right here. Massive big wardrobe closet right here as well, which is great. Okay, you got that on both sides. TV across in the bedroom, plus there's also storage back here as well. More storage, more storage, more storage. Another USB 12 volt power outlet right here with a 110 plug. Another nice big, big window. Turn your vanity lights on and off right here, which is great. Plus your entertainment. There's a built-in radio with Bluetooth feature for your music inside the bedroom. And then, I love this, you got a nice privacy door that closes off from the rest of the living. Now we're in the bathroom. I'm gonna talk about some of the features in here. You got your toilet paper holder right here by the toilet, of course, porcelain toilet. So shows you that they uh, don't cut any corners. Plastic toilets are a lot cheaper. Porcelain toilet obviously means they spent the money in here. So it's just like your home. You got a foot pedal flush down here on the side. Very convenient, very easy. You got your towel rack right behind the toilet as well. Lots and lots of storage. You got storage up above here. You've got more storage over here. More storage over here as well. Towel rack holder, nice big mirror. Lots of counter space in the sink area. Stainless steel, residential type sink, faucet. This is your control for your water heater. Okay, and it's a tankless water heater. Plus your 110 power outlet for your hair dryer or whatever it is that you may need. Okay. Walking around this way, got storage down here as well. Plus you also have your water filtration system. So if this needs to be changed or exchanged, you've got that right here. And then nice huge walk-in shower. Another place to hang your towel. I love this because I'm about six foot tall, about 200 pounds. You got nice tempered glass. It goes all the way around. Plus you've got a lot of room to be able to wash your hair. So if you're a little bit taller, you can do so. Very, very, very well use of space. So now we're inside the cab where all the action happens when you're driving down the road. All right. So I'm going to point out a lot of the features that I really love, just like we have on our cars today. First of all, I want to show you on this chassis, you're going to get power windows, power locks with an up and down one touch feature on the power windows. Okay. You got power mirrors on there as well. So if you need to adjust your mirrors, you can do that. Power locks, of course. You have your adjustable telescopic steering wheel. So to give you a little bit more room, a little bit more comfort. Also power adjustable pedals which is great, great, great. I love that. So if you're tall or short, you can adjust those back and forth to give you a little bit more comfort. Power seat, 
adjustable seats. You also have your headlight control switch over here. This also has automatic headlights, so you can turn that to one touch. Lights will come on and off automatically. Right here, you're gonna look and you're gonna see basically the full instrumentation of the dash. This control lever right here will go through the different menu of the entire control system on this coach for you. So you've got a digital speedometer readout, shows you how many hours are on the motor, how many hours you've idled the engine, oil temperature, transmission temperature. One of the safety features is your lane keeping assist system that you can turn on and off. And uh, then you have a full dialogue if your turbo's engaged, your fuel tank level, everything is very easy to read right here. Volume controls, you can turn the volume up and down on the music, okay? You can also control the phone with your Bluetooth right here. You've got voice recognition. You can also answer the phone, decline the call right here. You can mute the call right here with one touch. And then you also do have cruise control in the unit as well. If you're gonna be doing some towing, you do have your uh, manual setup right here. So when you've got it in drive, you can downshift or upshift which gear you want it to be in to give you a little more control. Plus you also have a drive mode feature. This will also shut off the overdrive or put it into a tow haul mode type situation. So when you're towing your toys or that trailer or car behind you, you've got a lot more control. Plus the shift points of the transmission won't be so sporadic. Four wheel drive is an option. Uh, we order these with four wheel drive. So it's a true four wheel drive, two high, four high, or even four low when you get into emergency type situations. You do have a built-in integrated brake controller that will control the braking system when you're going back and you're towing your toys or whatever it is. Your full sync navigation system from Ford. So this has got this is all touch screen. You've got your audio feature button. This is your phone feature where you would add your Bluetooth navigation. So if you want to find your best point of interest or if you're on that next trip, you can program that in there as well. Your app feature. So there is some apps that are already downloaded on here, like Sirius XM or Travel Link that's already programmed. And then there's some other apps that you can download. And then your settings feature for your personalization of the radio. All right. Up here is your nice big camera display for your backup camera. Also, you do have side cameras when you turn on the turn signal to give you better visibility of the unit when you're traveling down the road. And then back down here, you have your full air conditioning controls, heater controls, everything at, at one touch right here that's easy for you to reach. USB, 12 volt power outlets right here at the convenience of your hand. Another 12 volt power outlet along with a 110 volt power outlet right here built in. You've got a couple of storage compartments right here. Just nice. And then you have individual captain chairs, which is nice with built in armrest, three big, big cup holders, and just a lot, a lot of space. First of all, let me talk about this chassis. This is on a Ford Super Duty. F550 chassis built to a 6.7 liter power stroke V8 diesel with 330 horse, 825 foot pounds of torque. Plenty of power, plenty of torque to get you up and down all those grades or wherever that travel destination may be. All right. Love the bold, bold front end of this. Has a very, very nice look. Looks just like the heavy duty, super duty trucks that we drive today, built by Ford. Okay. Nice big headlights, fog lights down here at the bottom. Very nice bold stance. You have a one piece fiberglass cap right up here, along with standard full body paint that goes through the entire unit as well. Talk about some of the aspects of the, you got the optional four wheel drive. This comes with 225, 70, 19 and a half inch tires and wheels real aluminum alcohol wheels this is not a hubcap so real real aluminum dual wheel on this coach 
All right, so let's talk about the integrated fiberglass step that this company builds on this coach for ease of access getting in and out of the door, okay? This up here is your exhaust for the generator. So that's your bleed off fuel for the exhaust for the generator. Talk about storage. All the storage in here is a rotocast material. So it's very durable, very, very, very well put together, uh, weatherproof. Um, you're not gonna have any mold, things like that. So anything you wanna put in here, you can. Love the beautiful fiberglass on this coach that offers full body paint as a standard feature, okay? Generator, this has an Onan Cummins quiet diesel generator. It's a 6,000 watt that runs off of the main fuel tank. So it's very, very easy to monitor where your fuel is on the coach. And this generator will run the entire RV when you're boondocking or dry camping. Tankless water heater, this is your port to access that. So it's very easy to get to if the water heater ever needs to be serviced. That's right here, okay? You have two tanks on this coach. Your first tank up here, this is your access where you'll fill up. This has 28 gallons on the front and 40 gallons on the rear for a total of 68 gallons. This guy here is your exhaust for the furnace for your heat. Right here is your city connection. So when you're hooked up at an RV park, you've got your actual hose. This is where your hose will hook up to. So you have a fresh city connection right here. In here, this is where all your dump areas are, okay? This is your low point drain. This is your lowest point when you wanna drain the coach if it ever needs to be winterized. Your holding tank, your black tank valve, your gray tank valve, your outside shower, which is all right here, okay? Wash the dog off, wash your feet if you go to the beach. Also where your sewer hose will drain, it goes right down through here. So everything's easy to access and get to. Another big, big storage back here. This goes through about three quarters of the way. So you can put tables, chairs, whatever it is that you want in here. Nice lighting so you can see what you're doing if it's dark. Here's your other fuel port on this side. For your rear tank, your cable outlet for your television if you're gonna watch TV while you're at an RV park. Also, 50 amp cord, so this is a 50 amp unit. This is your cord where it's gonna plug in right here. And then one of your biggest storages on the entire coach has full pass-through storage all the way through. It goes all the way through the unit. Back here, love the beautiful, beautiful cap on this. I love how this is all integrated. Okay, it gives it a very nice high-end look. Ladder, it's fully walkable. You have a one-piece roof on top so you can walk on the roof as well. There's your backup camera up top to give you good visualization for towing or just to give you a view of the coach behind you. Down here is your full hookup for your tow package. So you've got your seven-way for your lights and your brakes. You've got your four-way for just your lights. And then obviously your full four class four receiver, where you're gonna hook everything up when you wanna do some towing. And as I said before, you've got up to 10,000 pounds that you can tow. So this is one of my favorite features on this coach. So let's just say that you don't have a city connection at an RV park where you can hook up a hose. You could go to the store, buy water, pour it right into here, and you would have water inside your fresh water tank at any given moment when you're boondocking or dry camping. Love it. Down here, the other pass-through storage that goes all the way through the entire coach from the other side to this side. So lots of room again, lots of storage for all your tables and chairs. Slam latch doors, fully lockable. Right here is your outside grill connection. So you've got an actual turn off valve right here. So for a barbecue, you can hook up out here for your entertaining. If you like to cook outside, Outside here is your outside kitchen, of course. You've got a 2.7 cubic refrigerator, okay? You got more storage, another 110 volt power outlet, your pump drain 
for your sink when you're going to use that. And then also for your rag or towel, whatever you want right here inside this little compartment as well. One ten power outlet for all your entertainment needs outside, radio, whatever the case may be. Okay, outside television area. So if you like to sit outside underneath the awning, TV right here. Put a couple of lawn chairs out here. Propane tank. So you got lots of propane on board. Also your hydraulic pump for your leveling jacks as well. That's easy to access and get to. And then the biggest storage of all is right here inside this compartment. And it goes back about a half, eh, about halfway, three quarters. So there again, tables, chairs, whatever it is that you want to bring with you, you've got full access right here. Also, your 1800 watt inverter is right here inside this compartment. So it's easy to access and easy to get to. Okay. One of my favorite features is the full length awning. Armless awning, I love how they built the LED lights into the arms of the awning and it literally goes across virtually uh, about 80% of the coach. So you wanna sit outside if it's raining, keep the sun off of you, you can. I hope this video on the Omni Super C has shown all the great features that this coach has to offer. If you'd love to check one out, please come into one of our stores or check out our website. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more great videos just like this.